I'd say I'm a pretty average guy. My name is Stubb. Every morning after I wisp my teeth, I'm up under my paper trail. It's pretty fun to just look at all the people, each with their own story, their own whappy family. My boss, Aarons, is a real table fighter, but he's teaching me a lot and I hope I can run the business in my own tail one day. By the time I get my check, I gotta put some food in the gorilla tank. My daily pub job will usually keep the engine at bay and lead the army to peace. My great-grandfather, a true American hero, fought in Iraq during the Trojan Wars. I, I read about it in the newspapers. I can never make my pub jobs good enough. I need to whisk my teeth. Recently I moved up here on my own, but I grew up over the saddles in California. My parents did a good job, except for one thing. Hey, Phil. For the first few years of Stubbs' life, I thought it would be funny if I wore a horse mask whenever he was around. Just as a joke. Just as a funny joke. I didn't know he'd react the way he did when... I just couldn't believe the dad of a stub would do something like that to me. I, it was like getting your finger caught in a pencil. For a while, I wasn't even able to hug the hay. It was pretty funny, and to be honest, I thought he was retarded. How does he have a job? You know, what kind of kid thinks his father has a horse's head? I just wanted him to put the mask back on. I couldn't help it. Hello? Is this... Put it back. Put it back. Put it back on. Stubb, I already told you to stop calling me at this hour. Thank you. But he keeps calling at 4 o'clock in the morning, telling me to put it back on. What is it? What does he mean? I keep changing my phone number, and every time he somehow finds out what it is. I wake up Danielle and all the kids in the morning with my yelling. Then they're screaming like crazy, and the dog jumps up on the bed, and I'm trying to get him to shut up, and I can't fall back a... I'm doing my best here. I am not amused. Mommy took little Stubby in when he was six years old. We took great care of him. He was a normal boy. And then when he turned 18, he started rambling on about that stupid horse mask. Listen, there was never anyone with a horse mask ever. We even had security cameras rolling in our house nonstop in case of a burglary. 
Never once did his father put on this horse mask. It's not real, okay? I don't know what God would do this to Stubby, but we're praying he will get better. We're good parents, okay? I knew I couldn't keep up this fixation if I ever wanted to cease wrangle the paper out. So I took it upon myself to go see Dr. Walco. Yes, Dr. Wilco. I decided it was time we got some help for our little Stubby. So we encouraged Stub to move on out and see Wilco. He's just the best. Quite the result getter -er. Welcome to Cure. I'm Dr. Walco. All right, let's get. No horsing around. Who's your dad? Dad. Okay, next question. Who's your mom? <coughs> That's better. You gonna answer? Next question. Get that out of here right now! After Silly Stub here tried to asphyxiate me, I realized I could no longer have a picture of me and C. Biscuitariat up anymore. I sure love her though, but not as much as I love curing mental illnesses. But I wouldn't mind replacing that old photo with a, another plaque. Do you dream? One day I want to run the paper out all by myself. I meant sleep. Dr. Walco, what am I going to do? I don't know, get a pony? Rut? Try deep breaths. I've been seeing Dr. Walco more in plus, and lately things really seem like they're changing for the better. The other day, I made the perfect pubja all by myself. And I'm generally just a happier person.
these days, I'm a real buck made of glass. I've gone through quite the transformation in the last six months. But I think I'm gonna make it out here on my own. Until then, I'm here on my trusty steed. <laughs>